Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sammy Fryer, licensed realtor in the state of South Carolina, and this is this week's local housing market report for Florence, South Carolina for the week of June the 5th, 2024. And I have now made it a focal point to keep these weekly market reports short and sweet, give you the data that you need and tell you what you need to know about our local housing market. If you are considering buying or selling you need to know this data and these statistics, and these are going to help you make informed decisions. And so with no further ado, let's jump right in. And so the biggest story is going to be, obviously, median list prices are continuing to, I think we could say, skyrocket at this point. They are soaring with no indication of coming down, as you can see, over a 90-day average. Now, this, as everything that we're about to look at, needs to be tempered because we're still not where we were this time last year. Last year, median list prices on a 90-day average were $318,142. We are right now currently at below $300,000 at $292,000, almost $293,000. But the bottom line is, the story to be told is that home prices are going up in Florence. That is to be coupled with picking up where we left off two weeks ago with the average days on market decreasing. Now, the average days on market is... I would say significantly lower than it was this time last year. This time last year, uh, first week of June for 2023, average days on market was 112 on a 90-day average. We are currently at 82. So home prices are going up. Homes are sitting less time. One thing that we had been keeping an eye on for a while was properties with a price decrease because home prices going up, if you're a seller, doesn't mean a hill of beans if you're going to have to decrease it anyways. What well, we saw going back to... Coming into the spring, as to be expected, properties with a price decrease was decreasing. So there hasn't been a lot of movement in this since the end of March. So really, the properties with a price decrease has started to stabilize out. Let's take that out at around 39%, which is still slightly higher than you would want to see. But it has been pretty stable for basically about six weeks now. But it is at least encouraging to see this stability here over the last six weeks. And lastly, inventory is slowly on the rise. Almost exactly where we were this time last year with a 90-day average of 146 properties. And remember, this is not counting condos. We'll take a look at condos real quick too before we finish this. And right now we're at 138. So very, very close to where we were last year. But the encouraging part is that we are increasing, simply meaning that there's more inventory available for you buyers out there. And so I would say that there's advantages for buyers and sellers right now in the market. When I say advantages, specifically for buyers, what I'm saying is that you are being introduced with options pretty regularly in your price range, regardless of what budget you're shopping in, homes are entering the market that are available for you to shop. And ultimately, if your goal is to actually buy a home, that's a really good thing. You know, you want options, you want homes. The flip side to that is that if you are one of those sellers, our market action index is stating, and what we are seeing is that we are in a pretty solid seller's market right now. And so we're seeing and this is kind of going back to some of that stability that we're seeing in properties with a price decrease that sellers are frequently getting their list price or their asking price for their homes. Now, when you start to get up into, and you can see this here, the uh, the upper 90 day and the top 90 day, you can see those numbers are a little bit higher, more expensive homes, sellers trying to get the maximum amount in return for their homes. And you can expect to see that happen a little bit more frequently in that top or upper 90 day. But as a whole, sellers are doing well to get at or very close to their asking price for their homes, particularly if they're priced appropriately, which we talk about a lot. That's really just what I wanted to point out. Same thing with condos. Uh, the seller's market advantage for condos is even stronger right now. And I can say personally that we've seen that over the last couple of weeks. And so if you have a condo that you're looking to list, now is a really good time to do it. And this is what the data is showing. Median list prices for condos also increasing with an average of 52 days on the market, a relatively low number, especially if you go back to somewhere like 2021 or even 2019, you can see that we're in a pretty good place with condos right now. So if you if you have a condo that you're wanting to list, now is a great time to do it. Okay, and that's it. We're going to keep it short and sweet. The real gist is that whether you're a seller or a buyer, uh, now would be an excellent time to get in touch with your realtor. If you don't have a realtor, of course, all my contact information, as always, is down in the description of this video. 
this is why we do these things. We can educate the consumer, educate the public on what's going on in our local housing market and get you the resources and the connections that you need should you need said connections to buy or sell property. New homes are coming onto the market daily. Median list prices are going up. That's great for sellers. Average days on market is decreasing. That's great for sellers. But yet there is a slight increase and that number is going up of inventory. And that's great for buyers. So if you are a buyer and it makes sense for you or you have an absolute need to enter into the market right now, you are going to be afforded the opportunity to shop a little bit. You're going to have options pretty much regardless of what segment of the market you're shopping in budget wise. And so if for whatever your personal reason may be, if you have any interest in buying or selling, there are definitely a lot of things to consider right now. Things happen cyclically. And so you want to make sure that you're being privy to the timing of everything and understanding the, the market environment. And that's why we do these. If you find this helpful, please give a like to the video down below. We really appreciate that. And if you need any further information tailored specifically to your situation, all of my contact information is down in the description of this video, as well as our office information. And you can reach out to us today. We'd be happy to set up a complimentary buyer's consultation or a complimentary home valuation to see what your home is worth in this current market as we're seeing home prices increase and those homes are going under contract. Now we are working hard to provide a lot of information, a variety of things relative to real estate in Florence and the greater PD area. And so if you'd like to learn more about our area, there's a variety of kinds of videos on the channel. So please be encouraged to scroll through our video catalog and find whatever it may be you're looking for. Hopefully you'll find something resourceful and helpful for you. And if you do, please subscribe to the channel as we are working to put out fresh content almost daily if possible. Things are a little bit busier, but I'd like to at least get a couple of videos out a week. And with that being said, we look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you on the next one.